be the show as the interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Texas Rangers and the Milwaukee Brewers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to go and towing the slab in this one, Freddie Peralta. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Four pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Marcus Simeon leading things off and takes a strike. Swings through that one. The pitch. Got it by him for the K. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. And here's Corey Seager to hit. First pitch just misses. Here's someone, historically speaking, that prefers day games over night games. So I'm excited to see what he does in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a foul ball. One out, base is empty. Gets a piece to get. Just off the outside corner. Two and two. It's a good take. Next offering misses. Full count now. There's a line drive to left field. And it gets by him. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second safely. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Stepping in the long ball threat, Adolis Garcia. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Late on that fastball. Man at second. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Slider got him for strike three. Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. And here is Evan Carter. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs and one in scoring position. And another ball. And it is two and one. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And the 2-2. Two -two. And that's too high. Josh Young waiting to hit for the Rangers.
fires over to Hoskins and that is the inning. Rangers leave one. Now it's the Brewers turn. It's a scoreless ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Milwaukee and starting in this one Nathan Evaldi. It's got that splitter and it's a pitch that swings and misses calm fast and they come often very difficult to pick up out of his hand. Here's the veteran outfielder Christian Yelich. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers strike one Evaldi a former all star. He features a four seam fastball a splitter a cutter a curve and he works in a slider right through there for a strike got him and that's the first out. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. And now it's William Contreras. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. And now Sal yeah. Fralin gets the outside corner with that one. Two out spaces empty. Next pitch misses. And a count even one and one. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout. When you get your chance, go up there and hit the ball hard somewhere. Swing and a miss. And he got him to chase. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Moving under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers. Scoreless after one. Back here at American Family Field. Second inning set to go. And now, Josh Young. The wide to kick the pitch. Strike on the inside corner. Going one. A big swing and a miss. Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Smoked on the ground a second. Terang over to first in time. One up, one down. That is good. The first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. That's inside. Right through there for a strike. 
All tied up here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's two down. Up next for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. Down the middle for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Two down, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Missed with a changeup. Going to count one and two. A little bit low. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Two outs. That misses the zone. Counts full three and two. Goes down looking. Nothing doing for the Rangers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Evaldi back to work. Close one doesn't get the call. Ball one. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Gets under it and pops it up. Simeon drifts towards it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Batting fifth. Not shortstop. Really, not double. Willie Adamas stands in. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Next pitch in for a strike, and a count even at one. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And the right hater deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That is good. So here's the Brewers DH. Garrett Mitchell. That's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. That's in there, and it's 0-2. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. The pitch. And one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. And he chases that one. And it's a three up, three down inning. 
Three up, three down for Milwaukee. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And now Laoti Tavares. And the right hander back to work. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That one missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Just missing there, and it's two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And the pitch. Outside, and it's three and two. Okay. Swing and a high fly ball pretty well struck right field back there that one is gone and it gives them the lead in the third it's one nothing he kept swinging and it paid off well that was a battle Boog and he just kept taking his cuts finally squared one up He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. And a foul ball. Fastball for a strike. Next one in the dirt. Nobody on, nobody out. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And another ball. Fouls one off, two and two. Good job to fight that one off. One down, base is empty. Base hit, center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. So now it's Corey Seager. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three run game in the blink of an eye. Hit hard, but foul off to the left. And he deals. Fouled off. He was late. The 0 2. And that one is inside ball one. Simeon stands at first with one out. Peralta checks over to first, and he's back. Left hand hitter waits. In the dirt, blocked. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two.
Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Went down on strikes his first time through. There's a strike. That's inside. And now it's even one and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Way high. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. And the home team down a run. Major League Baseball is on the show. And we're back. Bottom of the inning. Up now for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. Way out front for strike two. And now one and two. One and two. Strike three, got him swinging. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Bryce Terang at the plate now, and that's inside. The 1 0. Bunting for a hit. And he's safe at first. That's their first hit of the ball game. It doesn't surprise anyone when he gets on base by dropping down a bond. I mean, this is just the latest example of him using his speed to his advantage and showing off his skills with the bat. That was very nice. One down, runner at first. Next for Milwaukee, Andrew Monasterio. Headed down the line, and that is foul. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And a pitch. And misses inside. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the last half of the third. Wouldn't chase that time. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Christian Yelich up next for the Brewers. And that one fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Payoff pitch. In the air, right field. Garcia really on his horse for this one. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two away. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Yelich at the dish. 0 for 1 after striking out looking to start the game. Ivaldi checks the runner, and he's back in standing. He's got plus speed, but in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. Slap the other way, foul. Foul. 
homer. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Coming home. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 1-1. One, one. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. That was exactly what you're looking to do with the pitch away, especially in that situation. Drive it into the opposite field gap. He got himself two bags on a great swing of the bat. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So up next, William Contreras. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And now the 1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And here it comes. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Fights it off. You'll see another. Man on second, two down. Pitch misses, and the count is one and two. And another ball. And it's second. That to right. Garcia gets there. He's under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Brewers pick up a run on this RBI double. All even now at 1 1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at American Family Field, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Evan Carter. Peralta back to work. And that's outside. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And that's down it away. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Fires over to Hoskins. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Now a pop-up on the infield. And there are two outs. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Freilich has a beat on it. Brings it in. And that's the third out. Out of the bottom of the fourth, tied 1-1. One, one. Bottom of the fourth, up now for Milwaukee, Sal Freilich.
and a pitch. There's your strike. Bunting and it's right in front of the plate. And it's just foul. That was close. Popped up left side. And there's one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. First time up was a pop out. That one ripped, but foul. Righty to the plate. Bounced out to short. Seeger. And a couple of quick outs. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Next for the Brewers, Willie Adamas. Struck out swinging his first time. To the right side. Low takes it himself, and Milwaukee is set down in order. Brewers go down quietly. Still tied, 1 1. here in Milwaukee and now the catcher comes up to him Jonah Heim the right hander back to work a little bit high and that's ball one that one in there across the letters line drive no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one away. Man, if that drops right there, they would have gotten the potential winning run on base, maybe even in the scoring position, but that's just one of those hang with them. Tavares takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And another ball. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. And delivers outside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. That one finds the zone. Three and one. Right through there for a strike. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Churio grabs it on the run. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. And next is the designated hitter, Ezekiel Duran. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. One and one. And now two and one after that missed inside. That one to first. Hoskins. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Score remains deadlocked at one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Garrett Mitchell. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Breaking ball through there for a strike.
Next offering is in the dirt. And a swing and a miss there. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Not even close there. And the count is even two and two. Ground ball right side. And he takes it himself for the out. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Jackson Chorio up now for the Brewers. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. First offering, and it just misses. And fouled off. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. That one not close. Now two balls and a strike. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Now well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. The 2-2 two -two now. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Simeon tracks it down for the out. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. This is Bryce Terang. That misses. 1-0. and oh. On the ground right side. That's the third out and we're headed to extras. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Score remains tied 1-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Here comes a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Yeah, I think part of that goes into... It's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now it's Corey Seager, one for two. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. And the righty deals. Hot shot to third. Fires over to Hoskins. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Out in front and foul to the left side. And that one is lifted in the air. Yelich should have it. Pulls it in to end the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. All tied 1 1. And we're back. Now the third baseman, Andrew Monasterio. The pitch. 
That one finds the zone. And it's 0-1. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Man at second. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and deals. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. At the belt and fires. The other way. Base hit into the outfield. The throw in. Save. Ball game. They walk it off. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. And your final score here today, 2-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.